Okay, here we have our marine flush mounted uh, digital display panel. Uh, give you a quick demo of how it all works. Press number one here, it will show up on the screen. You can see it says unit number one. This can be changed to the client's name, resident's name, or whatever you wish. You can even have the resident logo on there if you, uh, if you have one. Press number one and call. It should go through to whatever the monitor is programmed as number one. As you can see on here, you've got the full digital display, 720p resolution. Uh, down the side here you have several options, you have door release, this will not only release the uh, main door but you can actually select se uh, several other doors to open at the same time. Uh, you have a snapshot function here where I can take a picture and that will now be stored in the memory that can be accessed from not only the monitor but also the concierge service uh, for security reasons. Uh, but if you press the answer button, it's a bit close at the moment but uh, you get the idea. And that's the call, disengage button. Okay, on the menu on the screen itself, this runs on Android. We have many different functions here. It's all fully touch screen. Uh, first option here is uh, silent mode. So if you tap that, that's just gonna put the monitor into silent. You can choose how long you want, to, want it on there. So you can choose eight hours for a working day. If you, if you so wanted. Here you have the concierge bu uh, button. Uh, there's nothing on here at the moment because we don't have it connected, but this will allow you to have communication from the monitor to the concierge so you can send messages back and forwards and you can have a two-way communication, uh, audio communication. Turn the monitor back on. We have messages here. So this is where you may receive messages from, uh, again, the concierge or maybe from a different monitor. So these monitors are all on the same network. So uh, it works very similar to uh, Facebook, for instance, uh, you can send friend requests around the building uh, and send them to and from. They will have to be accepted before you can chat, though. Go back. We have an uh, option here. This just allows you to see the camera at the main panels. Now, this can be practically unlimited panels or CCTV. So if I touch here on where it says tech, hopefully it's going to work, we can see this now going into our full 4 megapixel HD CCTV camera. The image quality there is crystal clear again you can take snapshots if you wanted to so you can follow people around the building on CCTV if you so wished go back into the menu we have alarm mode this allows you to link up to a uh, home automation system or an alarm system so if a fire alarm go off link it into the main uh, IP uh, modules downstairs as soon as it's triggered it can come up on the system fire alarm on floor one uh, going off for instance however you wish to word it. Uh, here you have home automation. This is lighting control. Uh, again, we don't have this uh, activated at the moment. This will have to be integrated with our Dobby system. Uh, unfortunately, as I say, we don't have the cables connected, but this allows you to control relays around the home. So lights, sprinklers, heating, whatever you so wish. We have voice memos, um, which will allow me just to say, leave a message on there. Please buy some milk for the wife. The monitor will flash. Uh, she'll know there's a message on there, she can play that back before she goes out. Uh, here, self-explanatory, we have a, um, a missed call list, so anyone who's been ringing at the panel, any unanswered calls, we can see who was there uh, at what, what time, and that's a snapshot, and that's, that's again... That's from MIFSEC, isn't it? That, that's yeah. from MIFSEC, yeah. This label we have on there, and again, it just tells you exactly what time we were there. So we've got several pages here. <clears throat> again, we've got intercommunication, so this will allow you to have intercommunication throughout the building. Um, so you can talk from handset to handset, maybe you've got more, more than one of these handsets in the building. So ring upstairs, say your dinner's ready, please come down. Uh, again, we've got intercommunication, but again, this is throughout through the building now. Um, it's connecting to the CCTV because we set it up as a separate monitor. Uh, but this will allow me now to t talk to Mr. Jones, flat three, to say would you like to come round again for dinner? Not just uh, typing in messages. We have the snapshot uh, icon here. This just allows us to cycle through the different people who have been ringing on there. So we can have a good old cycle through, see if there's any um, anyone on there we wish to uh, take um, snapshots of who looks suspicious. <laughs> here you've got an SD card reader. You can just pop an SD card in there and just do a full download of all pictures if you wanted. Go back on the second screen. Oh, uh, we've got, oh, let me go out of that. Uh, we've got lift control. So lift control is very good. You can have this connected to the main panels. Um, so when someone scans their fob downstairs, for instance, it can come up. Jay's come in the building um, and it, it will send the lift down. It will alert you on here that the lift's coming up. You can also touch the lift there to make sure it's ready on your floor for when you leave your building. Leave your flat, I should say. Uh, auto door open, uh, again self-explanatory, so uh, if you, again if it's a business you want customers to come in throughout the day you can just tap on that button that will leave the door, door, uh, door release at the main, main entrance permanently open so people can get in and out. 
Again, we've got more memos. Um, if you're lucky enough to have one of these in your bedroom, you can set a, a, an alarm clock just to wake you up in the morning. Set it up there, eight hours on your way. Um, cleaning mode, if I touch that, that will, allow, that will allow the screen to go completely unresponsive. I can give it a full wipe down and clean. How long does that last? Five minutes, that's, is it? That's or? 30 seconds. Oh, only 30 seconds? That's 30 seconds. Yeah, well, it's nice. enough time to give it a quick wipe, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, again, we've got contact cards, so we can just upload contact cards if we wanted to. Um, here we have um, relay control. Again, it's more to do with the home automation. We have to have it linked up to actually dem demonstrate what's going on here. But again, it's just to control relays around the house if you, if you wanted. And the last one on here is really good. Um, it's our tablet control. So if I touch this, if it's online at the moment, what it's going to do, I can touch this button and it will uh, upload a uh, QR code on the screen for me. If I download the free Firmax app, I can point out the QR code that will download all the settings from this particular monitor in my flat, upload it immediately to my phone, download all the settings I so wish, and then calls will be diverted immediately to my mobile. There's many settings That's the QR around. code That's there. the QR code. So all you're doing is downloading the app and pointing at that screen. Everything else is done for you internally. And as I say, that will just divert the calls on. That will go over your 3G, over your Wi-Fi, wherever you like. Now, as a final uh, piece here, we'll show you the installation menu here. You have basic functions. So you, again, you've got um, ringtones here if you wanted to change it. You've got theme settings. It's a nice looking monitor. So you may wish to change the, uh, you may wish to change the color. Uh, if we go into the settings menu, we go in here, just a default password and we will go into the insta um, monitor installation setup. Now this is where the, what the installer is going to be looking at. This is really the only setting they need to be going on. You're going on here, you're setting what block it is, you're saying this is unit number one. Uh, coffee please. And you're pressing tick and that's now programmed as number one. That's how easy it is. It takes 10 seconds to program this monitor. Once that's done, the monitor can go off. That's now programmed as number one. I'm gonna go into monitor number two. I can do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna show you. This is, this is the installer. Into settings, into administrative settings, default password, into settings. And now I'd, all I'm doing is putting number two there, pressing tick, and that's done. I can walk away. And that's it. That's great. And uh, while you're here, quickly, yes. um, that's got a motion sensor on the front, hasn't it? It has. Now, we've set this to permanently on, I believe. Um, so this is always going to be scrolling through. So as I say, you can oh, right, have okay. company logos going across. But these two, uh, these two here, this is your light sensor and your motion sensor. So to save it having any kind of screen burn or even having a glare at night time to stand out, uh, it will only work. As soon as I stand in front of that, it will ping straight on. And so I know exactly what's going on. I can even put instructions on here to say, oh, close between 9 and 5. Please speak closer if, if it's in a noise area you can all be to this display and this is the uh, the firm x ip system called links yeah this is the ip link system so we've got links panel uh vivo monitors and a smart monitor they're all in the same range and any on vif cctv camera should be compatible with this system okay then joe thanks very much thank you